Okay, now let's head over to the Beko Kitchen, and you've got a guest, Mark, because Richard from White and Wands is joining you. Morning. How good, are you? Good, good to have you, Richard. Finally, some talent in the kitchen. Oh, harsh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, what are we going to be doing today, Richard? Well, uh, today we're sort of uh, going to, we've chosen two of what our most popular dishes out of our new cookbook that's coming out. Nice. So we're going to start off with uh, a shaky beef. Yum. And then after that we'll do a good, nice uh, bang bang chicken. And I just had your bang bang chicken the other night actually. Yes. That's it's very beautiful. popular. Beautiful. Cool. And it's all from this incredible book which is fantastic, isn't it? Yep. Okay, well. It's great. The book, the book there, it's amazing actually. There's some great recipes in there and lots of chilli on here for you, Mike. Nice. <laughs> good. <laughs> that puts the bang bang in the bang bang. <laughs> Very exciting. White and Wong's, Auckland and Queenstown, two of my favourite restaurants. And from White and Wong's, Richard is here in the Beko kitchen, and we're going to be doing some shaking beef and some bang bang chicken. So, should we just get going? I think we'll get straight into it. Okay, let's get going. There you so go, mate. You work. can start cooking. Oh, I thought Sorry. Richard was going to do the heavy lifting. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, it is, uh, we've done a lot of uh, the work at the moment. Yeah. Uh, so, it's quite quick and simple. Oh, nice. So, we've got some chilli oil. Chilli oil. So, quite a bit in there. Yeah. sort of get that nice and hot and smoky. Yeah. Do I put um, the beef in straight away or wait for it? Just wait for a bit of heat. Okay, but what I might get Mark to do is we're going to add some uh, some chopped onion in there later on. And it's got, um, I believe you like chilli, so oh, we've got yeah, a good amount, good amount of chilli to add in there later on as well. Did you get that email? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Extra spicy. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Mark, Mark sent me that email. <laughs> oh, it's a good time of year for a bit of chilli kick, isn't it? Helps the hangovers the next day. Okay, yeah. is that hot enough yet? I think that'll be... Can I come work for you? Uh, you can do. Don't We're always it. looking for chefs. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay. So beef in there? Yep, so get all that in there. Any technique? You just put it in? I think just put oh, it in cool. and start moving oh, yeah, around. If you like the sizzle. Yep. Now, that's, I think that's the key to, to these recipes, isn't it? It's have all your, um, you know, your, your preparation done first. You've got all your garlic chops, your onions, your ginger, yep. your beef. You know, and as soon as it's hot, it's just, you know, one, two, three, bang, go. And I think the, uh, the techniques and the name of the dish, you know, shaky beef, it's going to get it in there. Keep it all moving and it will come Thank together quite stirring. quickly. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so less talking, more moving, Mike. <laughs> My goodness. What okay, we, so what we get in there, we've got uh, the dried chilies. Yep, and now? In there. Yes. Woo! And we've got uh, a little bit of garlic and ginger. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can smell all those flavours coming together. What is it about the Asian cooking you like, Richard? Because this White and Wong's recipe book is fantastic. All the classic dishes that you get at the restaurant you can bring to your own home. What do you like about it? I think it's, it is that uh, the freshness, you know. I'm yeah. not uh, uh, I'm not an overly spicy sort of uh, eater. Yeah, really? Um, no, well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I have my limits, but I think what I like about it, it's, it, it's fresh. There's a lot of... Uh, a lot of lime, uh, coriander, and so that freshness flavour coming through. High, high impact of flavour, isn't it? Yep. So it's so simple, fast, yeah, and tasty, and satisfying. Yeah, yeah, it is what we like. Right, what else are we putting in so here? So what, what we've got in here is we've got the onions put in there. Yep. And now in this we've got uh, a mix of uh, soy, vinegar, palm sugar. Yum. And, and that will just go in there. And it's really just sort of getting that, getting that going and glazing it. And with the sugar in there, as it reduces down, we sort of just give a bit of stickiness to it and um, coat all that beef up. What's the most popular dish at White and Wong's, out of curiosity? Um, I, I think, you know, the, the shaky beef is one of our, one okay. of our most popular, the bang bang chicken, and um, I think, you know, we've got uh, some pretty talented uh, dumpling yes. chefs down there, so the dumplings and the duck as well. How many dumplings do you make a day? Well, a lot. <laughs> hundreds, <laughs> hundreds, hundreds, hundreds. Um, awesome. While that's sort of going down, I'll just get yep. marked and you know, just quickly yep. just slice. Right, so it's one of those nice and thin. Oh, yeah, we'll nice. yeah thank you, Mark. <laughs> okay, well, you guys <laughs> keep doing that, yep. and uh, we'll get bang banging with the next recipe. That's after we see what Holly has in store. Now for some dance moves in the Beko kitchen. And we're here with Richard. And your dance moves, please. Now he's going to show us his dance. He dances around this brilliant Asian inspired recipe. We've done the um, the shaking beef and that's all finished. What did you finish it off with? So we just uh, we just sort of finished that off with just some fresh herbs. We've got mint, coriander, watercress, nice. some fresh chilli in there, and just a little bit of fried shallot as well. Nice, I can smell it from yep. here. It's just beautiful and so fast as well. I uh, get the recipe in the White and Wong's cookbook, which is out at all good bookstores now. Okay, we're going on to the uh, shaking chicken. The bang bang chicken. Bang bang chicken. <laughs> the bang bang chicken. <laughs> yeah. I'll be shaking just thinking about it because I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, so it prepared a lot of the ingredients as well, haven't we? What have we done with the chicken? Yeah, so the chicken, this is a dish that certainly can be all, all done beforehand. Yeah. Uh, the chickens, what we usually do is we take uh, chicken and poach it okay. in uh, water. Uh, 
Asian wine and a whole lot of aromatics. We've got spring onion, offcuts ginger, garlic. Um, poach it off and then we just shred it, shred nice. it down. So you poach service. it whole as well. Won't yeah, you? we'll poach yeah. it whole. Um, nice. So uh, Mark's got in there. So we've made we make like a, a, a paste out of sesame, toasted sesame seeds, right. uh, Sichuan sesame paste, uh, vinegar, garlic, and really it's just getting that in there, getting that chicken to really soak up and absorb all that, um, all the mixture and all the flavour. Well, you can see all that flavour yeah. on the chicken now, so can you? Probably the perfect, perfect dish for summer to get it all ready, put yeah. it together in the morning, let it sort of soak. Um, and then we can sort of season with a little bit of the toasted sesame seeds. Okay, so ideally you want the chicken and uh, that paste to soak. So yeah, what, we can so sort of just leave it for a couple of, usually would leave it for a couple of minutes. Okay, just take cool. all that flavour in. Nice. Um, and then we've got Sichuan pepper there as well. That's gone in. Oh, yeah. And There's then cake. A little bit of uh, toasted chopped peanuts. Okay, so you just chop them up with a knife. Yep, and we just keep mixing it mm. and just keep, keep building that the flavour in there. Oh, I'm so excited. This is yeah. honestly one of my favourite dishes at White Mong's. I think, yeah, it's real, uh, this time of year, so I think it's the perfect. And then it's just sort of finishing off with some some fresh uh, mung beans. Some, we've got some cucumber and a little bit of coriander as well. Brilliant. And this is the thing, it's all fresh ingredients that provide a zing in your mouth, you know, and with all the garnishes, you know, it cleanses your palate so you're ready for round two. Yep. That's, the, that's how you eat at White and Wong. You just keep ordering different dishes. Share them with your table. And it's just so really mix, mixing it all up. It's so fast again, Richard. It is, it's a, a good dish. It's all about your preparation, isn't it? it and, is. and leave that chicken, you know, with the dressing to soak up all that yeah. flavour. Brilliant. Look okay, well, it's awesome. been so nice having you on the show, Richard. We're going to see the finished us. product. Yeah, no, yeah. my pleasure. We're going to see the finished product very soon. And of course, if you want the recipe, you can head along to our website. If you want the book, it's available in all good bookstores and, of course, at White and Wong's. Oh, <laughs> weird cats. But the food's not weird. Meow, 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 meow. It is good. Thank you, Richard. My pleasure. Absolutely brilliant.